it started because you have taken a JavaScript, but you still can't quite seem to code projects on your own. The deeper in you go, the more you realize the amount of concepts, techniques, and patterns you need to learn to gain mastery, and the more confused you get. Programming is the art of being able to learn new skills efficiently. So whether you're trying to learn the latest JavaScript framework or build the next big thing, let's look at a few tips to make learning actually enjoyable. The most boring part of any course is probably the beginning, that's where the basic concepts are introduced. But focusing on fully understanding these basics is far more important than you might think. Think about it this way, say you wanted to build an e-commerce site, you would need to know how to use for loops for displaying all the products, data structures for representing the data, and conditional logic for filtering the search queries. The point is that regardless of how complicated an idea might seem, it can eventually be boiled down to the fundamentals, which is why focusing on understanding them, even if it means sacrificing more time, is crucial when you're just getting started. If you're learning by trying to memorize code, you're probably doing it wrong. Memorizing the code for certain common tasks like handling a click event if you're developing a web application can help you get started. But in the long run, it is far more beneficial to gain the intuition of why things are done in a certain way. You can build that intuition by thinking deeply about the simple things once you've gotten familiar with them. For example, let's say you're just learning how to create a login system for a website. This involves multiple concepts, hashing the passwords, HTTP requests, storing data, and managing sessions. Let's look at two possible scenarios, one where you just memorize how it should be done, versus one where you dive deeper and research on how to implement these different concepts and why it is done in a certain way. The scenario where you try to gain a deeper intuition may take longer to do, but it will ultimately give you the advantage when you want to implement new features or when you look back at it months later and are still able to understand how it works. It's also far more satisfying and interesting when you can understand how a complicated idea actually works, and you can always search up the specific code needed to implement it. So be curious, ask yourself why do we need that step, or why can't we use this function instead, and research your way through your questions. This brings us to the next point, which is to continuously practice what you have learned. The best way to gain clarity when you're confused is to practice, practice, and practice. Whenever you have just completed a section of a course or tutorial you're taking, the amount of information feels overwhelming. So try to put it to use. Make a project with what you have learned and research about the things that you don't fully understand. This allows you to quickly pinpoint any misconceptions and have something you can use as a reference in the future or to build your portfolio. While practicing, try to constantly challenge yourself. If you were to constantly practice a skill that you have already mastered, any additional hours you spend practicing it will have a diminishing return. Instead, push yourself to learn more difficult concepts, to work on complex projects that you don't immediately have the solution for and which require a lot of research. For example, with some of the projects that I created when I first started, I had no idea if they were even possible. But once I got started with them and slowly broke down each problem I faced, I was eventually able to find workarounds to all of them. So push yourself to be more ambitious, especially when you feel like you're starting to stagnate. The confidence and knowledge you gain from doing so will also give you the momentum to learn at an even faster rate. With all that said, keep in mind that perhaps the most important thing is to keep working at it. Care less about finding the perfect, optimal strategy for learning and just get started. Be obsessed, stay consistent and do what works. Optimize later. That's all for this video, let me know what you think of this different format. If you like this video, you'll probably enjoy watching this video next. Besides that, please consider possibly liking this video and subscribing to my channel for more of such content.